Oh. Well, I just hit the wall. <laughs> what I'm going to do now is have some proper food, and I'm not talking about bloody porridge or an omelette or anything else that might be seen as kind of like a healthy thing to have. I'm going to have bacon, sausage, some eggs, and a bottle of red wine? No, probably not. A bit too cheeky. Uh, and maybe some muffins as well. Proper English breakfast. That is going to make me feel better. And then we'll discuss what went wrong. Now that is what you call a breakfast. Let's get that down and then we'll have a chat. So what exactly happened, you might be asking. Well, the plan for today was to do a long progressive run. It's similar to what I've been doing the last few weeks of this block um, as a bit of an Ironman simulation to kind of tap into that longer distance race pace. And I was really looking forward to it. I'm coming to the end of a big block of training. I'm really deep in this block of training. Um, and it's been fantastic, but the body's very fatigued. So I woke up pretty fatigued. Um, anyway, went out on the run and immediately knew that my body was not going to feel good. But I kept on going because I thought it might warm up. We'll see how things go. It did not. Uh, and it was at that moment I thought, well, I'll pop my gel now, <laughs> 4K into the run, and see if that kind of manages to spice things up a little bit, see if I can keep going. Um, and yeah, managed to, to run a little bit, started to feel a little bit better. Managed to mentally talk my way through a little bit more. And then again, I just started walking again. I felt horrendous. It might be a little bit of a glimpse that I'm pushing myself a little bit too far and actually I need to have a bit of time to recover before pushing myself again. So it's a little bit of like a, almost like a little red flag. It's just like my body going, actually Harry, you know what? I'm very fatigued right now. It might be best to recover a little bit. Th this video is actually less, I think, about the reasons why I failed the session and more letting you guys know that it's okay to fail sessions from time to time. I think too many people think that training and everything needs to be perfect and you have to have green training peaks all the time and you have to hit every session and feel amazing. And if you don't feel amazing, you're a rubbish athlete and you're going backwards and it's just not the case. And actually, if you don't fail a session from time to time, you're probably not pushing yourself as much. That's something that I would argue. Um, so actually failing a session is important and not being afraid to fail a session and to go, actually, there's no shame in it. There's no shame in going, you know what, didn't hit the numbers or I, I couldn't do that because of X, Y, and Z. And it's learning from that. How can you be better next time? And I think that's the important thing rather than going, oh, I failed and not thinking about it, actually delving into what happened. How can you be better next time? And then implementing that further down the line so you don't make the same mistake, if that sort of makes sense. So I knocked the session on the head, had a bloody good breakfast. That's made me feel very happy. I'm having some nice coffee now. And I was gonna sit on the turbo for a few hours, but uh, it started to dry up a little bit and it'd be so much nicer to get outside. Well, that's ruined that plan. I would rather not do a few hours outside in the rain. I'm not as hardcore as some people out there. And as much as I don't like the turbo, I think that's what I'm gonna do because it's close to the coffee machine. <laughs> I think it's also worth mentioning, I feel like I've hit a wall in another area as well, not training related, but this YouTube related. And that's what this channel is about, being honest, being, uh, being real, and I don't want anyone to mistake this for me complaining. People in the past have said, oh, Harry, you complain so much. Oh, you're always miserable. Ugh. Well, you know what, that's life. And to be honest, I don't think I'm that miserable. I think most of the time I'm pretty happy. Um, I'm sorry if you might think that, but for the most part, things are good. And uh, it's only occasional that I'm grumpy, but that's life, that's day-to-day -day life, that's real. And that's what this channel is all about. I'm not gonna bullshit you guys. 
and pretend that my life is perfect because perfect does not exist. And so if you're looking on social media for people to be happy all the time, that's unrealistic and that's not real. And if you're gonna complain that I'm miserable and I'm grumpy occasionally, aren't you? Uh, but anyway, that's not all this point is about, but I got on a bit of a ramble there. Anyway, I hope people don't think I'm grumpy all the time. I don't try to be. <laughs> uh, for the most part, I think I'm pretty, pretty happy, pretty chilled. But uh, yeah, the other, the other place where I've hit a wall is these videos. And I don't really know why that is. It's really, it's kind of weird. I've just got to a point where, or a moment in time, where I'm sure it will come back, but I've almost lost my imagination. I've almost lost, like, I sat at the table planning videos out earlier and I couldn't even come up with a few ideas. And I was like, bloody hell, like, what is going on? <laughs> Just completely dried up. Um, hopefully that comes back and I think it will, but it's, it's weird. Um, and so I did post on the community section of this channel. I've also posted in my Patreon if there are particular things you guys want to see to spice up a bit of a bit of imagination and to spice up and to kind of spark that I don't know spark these ideas a little bit if there's stuff you want to see please do comment in the comment section below because I want to make content that you guys want to digest rather than content I think you're going to want to digest all of these training day videos the race day stuff I really obviously going to continue doing that because that's stuff that people really enjoy but if there's other specifics that you want to see that I haven't done yet or that I haven't done much of definitely let me know because I'm all open to suggestions especially during this period of like for some reason I've just hit a blank my mind has just gone no no more ideas <laughs> I've always said that I could either focus as much as I possibly can on the training and do as much as possible with the channel to continue for it to grow. But the quality might be disrupted a little bit because of the amount of training that I need to do and the amount of focus. But I wanna make sure that I can get to the place that I want to be in the sport. Or I fully commit to the channel, but then I don't actually get as much time to train and to put in as much effort as possible to that so I'll see less progression in the racing. And ultimately, that's why I started this channel is to document that journey. And I hope the production quality is still good enough, but that's again why I've got James involved to help out with a few videos. If I could afford to pay James full time, doing two videos a week, every week, I would, but I just don't have the money. <laughs> Um, maybe one day, maybe one day. It's the next day now, and I know what you're thinking, my hair looks absolutely horrendous. Well, this is what's happened. I hit a bit of a wall yesterday. My training was meant to be a long progressive run, so kind of like an Ironman specific build, and a three hour ride. Instead, like I mentioned, I did like a 10K slog, which was like a walk run, and I did about 90 minutes spin on the bike. That was as much as I did. Then what I did was I chilled out for the rest of the day and I slept like an absolute brick tonight, uh, tonight, last night, and I let myself have a little bit of a lie in this morning. That means that I've woken up this morning, having had changed, having changed yesterday's training and given myself a little bit more sleep, I've woken up feeling fresh, rejuvenized, looking amazing. <laughs> and I'm ready to crack on with training again. And this is the message that I wanna leave you guys with. Training is never going to be perfect and it's actually important to adjust your training based on how you're feeling so that you can minimize the amount of damage that you do. If I was to just force myself through yesterday, I would have felt terrible. I wouldn't hit, have hit the right numbers anyway. I would have felt really rough. I probably would have risked getting ill or having some sort of injury or just prolonging that horrible state of fatigue and just feeling terrible whereas you know what i did i nipped it in the bud 
and I had a day that was a little bit more chilled and now I can crack on my training again. Super, super important message, guys. I just wanted to leave that with you today. Be honest with yourselves. Make sure that you're looking after yourselves and I will see you guys in the next video.